Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing idea for a puzzle today. Um, now, do if you're going to just jump to the puzzle, make sure that you've understood that this circle um, is theoretically in the center of these four cells. Uh, but if it was completely there, it would obscure the nine. So that's why it's a little off to the side. Um, anyway, we'll get to the rest of the puzzle rules in a moment. I do want to mention the Patreon uh, competition. Joseph Namer's brilliant equal sum lines. We're all just over, well, barely a week to go now. So do get a solution in in that week if you want to be in with a chance of a prize. Um, all the instructions are in the post about the competition. And uh, the way to get the App Store Domino app, which is proving very popular, is to look on the Stop Press link under the video where the instructions to how to get to the App Store one appear. Now, there will be fairly soon, I think, a, an Android version and then a little after that, a Steam version available. So if you want to wait for those platforms, do just walk gather up your patience a little. Um, now, the other links under the video, of course, will take you to all our apps, to um, Sven Sudokupad and the Discord server. But the first one is to this puzzle by Legor455, not appeared on the channel before. This is called One Ring to Rule Eight of Nine, which is clearly uh, very Tolkienian. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say I know exactly what that refers to in terms of the uh, lore of um, of the Lord of the Rings, but well, I mean, I know that there was one ring to rule all the other nine rings. So maybe this this one ring in this puzzle rules eight of those nine rings. I don't know what that means. Anyway, there is a there is a as well as the slightly off center circle, we have got a bit of an interesting twist. So normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box. Digits in a circle appear in the surrounding four cells. So four, six, seven, eight there. And as I'm trying to explain, one, two, five, eight appear in that group of cells. Uh, digits in a cage must sum to the number in the top left corner, but digits can repeat in a cage when allowed by the normal rules of Sudoku, which is why we can possibly have a 47 total when 47 is more than all the digits of 1 to 9 added together. Digits must repeat in that cage, I would say. Not all... Oh, uh, digits separated by a white dot, I didn't mention that, must be consecutive, not all white dots are given. So that could be four and five, for instance. So those are the rules. Um, very approachable puzzle, I'm told. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to start, actually I'm gonna restart my clock and start now. Let's get cracking. And yeah, I mean, I suppose up here, we've got a white dot which is saying that seven is on, because the constituent numbers in the, in the circle are four, six, seven, and eight. This can't involve a four because none of those are consecutive with a four. So it's either six, seven, or seven, eight. Now this can't, this can't be a seven therefore, because seven's in one of those cells. It also can't be four because seven's in one of those cells. If it was four, the 11 cage would need a seven there. So this can't be four or seven, so it's either six or eight, and that only leaves one place for four, and there is a start. Now, down here, we've got five, six, and seven around this. Now, the uh, crop key dot has to have a six on it. It's either five, six, or six, seven. So six isn't there. We've also, we also know there's a seven in one of those two cells, so seven isn't anywhere else in that column. Now, what about one, two, five, eight? Ah, oh, I see something else interesting. Right, one, two, five, eight. It can't be eight in the cage because it's a nine cage and two more digits would take the total to at least 11. Now, I think we may have to consider X wings. Um, and this is what happens when you use up two of a digit in two rows or columns. And we must be using an eight there, and we must be using an eight there, because they're specified in the circles. That's gonna use up eight in rows one and two. So the eight in row three can't be in either of those boxes. It must be somewhere here 
in the 47 cage, which isn't surprising. But I'm also seeing one and two in the top left uh, quad and one and two in the bottom left quad. So one and two must be in these cells. Again, it's an X-wing. It uses up the one and two for column one and two in these two boxes. Now I think, right, this is either a five or a three to make up the 11 cage. This nine cage, ah, it can't be four, three, two. So it's either one, two, six or one, three, five. Hmm, I don't think that tells me what this digit is. If it was one, two, six, because one and two are used there, that would be a six. If it's one, three, five, Ah, oh, one and five are used there, then this has to be a three. So it's either a three or a six, one way or the other. Um, there's definitely a three here. Again, three is a number repeated in those two quads. So there must be a three in that group of cells. Um, and this is actually a very low total, 17, isn't it? Ah, oh, can we actually deduce If these three digits repeated and were, say, 1, 2, 3, that would be 12. This would be a 5. Okay, that's possible. Ah, of course. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, oh, right. There we go. Yes, this is an absolute minimum gauge because 1, 2, 3, 4 are used up in this box, in this quad. The smallest number this can be is 5. The smallest numbers these can be are a one, two, three set. The smallest numbers these can be are a one, two, three set. And that is a total of 17 from the absolute minima. So let's actually fill that in. One, two, three in all the cells except that one, which is a five. Oops. Now this is four or six. Well, it's not four because four is in that quad. So that's a six. Um, this is a one, two, three set looking at that cell. So that becomes a six surrounded by one and two. So that now can't be one or two because it sees them both. This can't be six. One, two, three, four there. So this is a seven, eight, nine set. Um, one, two, five, eight, six. So three is in one of these cells. Not that useful. Right, one and two in this box are in those two because that one, two, three set prevents them being up here. These digits are four, eight, and nine, presumably. That's a seven. That fixes this domino, eight, nine. Now we need a four, seven pair in the column. That leaves three and nine for box one, so they must be here. Now we can do this white dot. Which of those is consecutive to that? That's a three. That's a four, and indeed this is a three as well, below the four. This is consecutive to one or two now. Gives us three possibilities there. Now that's become a seven. So this isn't seven. So the seven in this quad is here. That doesn't actually tell me which of those is six and which is eight, I don't think. One, two, six, four, seven. Not sure. Um, oh, three I can place in this corner. And that is, oh no, that's not three in the corner. That is, of course, three in the corner that we were given to start losing its religion down there. That's a one, two, four set. So we've got one, two, four, triple in row nine. This is either nine, five or eight, six don't know which. I mean, it's a virtual 8-9 pair, but that's not right. That 3 is looking... Oh, this cell's become a 9 anyway because of that 3. Ah, that's quite interesting. This is a high total, but now it can't have a 9 in row 3. So the most these can be is 8-7-6-5, which adds up to 26 which requires another 21 here. That's not a max. So let's keep going. 
Ah, there's a one, two, four triple as well. So that can't be one or two. And now I've got a five, eight pair. So that's one or two in the corner. Um, this 21 cage. Oh, something I considered at the beginning but didn't really use is actually the Fistemafel ring. I'm, I'm going to try and not use it. I could explain to you the theory by which the digits in those cells are exactly the same as the digits which we were given at the very start in the 4x4 corner boxes. And that's probably the genesis of the title as well. But I don't think this is necessary for this puzzle. And I've just spotted this 1-2 domino, which can't be in those cells and must be there. And now that's incredibly helpful. In this 47 cage, we do have... Five, six, seven, eight. In this box, we've already got six, eight, seven. So that's a five. Ah, and now we need to put 42. Well, we know that's eight, seven, six. In fact, we know which one's next to five. It's six because of the white dot. So now this is adding up to 26. These add up to 21. That's a three now. Um, three, five, one, two. So these are from... Four, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> there are two ways to make 21 from those. They're 8, 7, 6, and 4, 8, 9. And it can't be 4, 8, 9 because of this cell being 4, 8, or 9. Oh, and in fact, the simple way, I've just noticed that dot, which we could just unpick straight away. So we get a 4 there. Now, to make this 47 cage work, we take 9 out of there. In fact, we could have put it in there from the box. I think there are a lot of ways to go about this puzzle. So there's probably, especially given the system of Hellring, there's probably some redundant information. Don't feel the need to point it out. Sometimes that just makes a puzzle more approachable, and that's perfectly valid. Um, we get a five here, six on the dot, seven here. I get the feeling that we are closing in on a finish now. Five and three in this row. Three is on a dot with two or four. Um, okay, I don't quite know how to finish that off. Still got these one, two pairs to resolve. Hmm, okay, I thought we were closing in on finish and now I've got stopped. Uh, that's fine. There is a five in one of those two cells. It could be in the cage or it might not be. Might still need to fix this 21 ring, uh, cage, one, two, four. Oh, that's a seven, eight, nine triple because there's a one, two, four in the region, in the column. So four, five, six there, that's not four. Now there's a one, two pair in the bottom row and that is four. Um, Hmm, I don't know which way those go. Three, five, six, seven, eight. That's a one, two, three triple, and these can't be three. So in fact, that's a one, two pair, and that is a three, touching a two on the white dot. Right, now, 21 plus three is 24. These other three add up to 21. Ah, and this is a six on the white dot. So none of these three can be a six. So to add up to 21 now, they have to be, they can't be 6, 7, 8. So they're either 9, 8, 4 or 9, 7, 5. Okay, this, this central region, and maybe I could have worked that out more simply, must have a 1 in it, which I have worked out because it can't go in the high total that these three cells need. So if there's a 1 in it, which can't be in those cells, it's in one of these two, that's going to sort out the 2, 1 pair. The two gets us the four at the top of the grid. Um, that's two or nine, one, two or nine there. Now, there has to be a two in this as well. So it can't be in the vertical strut. So it's in one of the horizontal places. There's going to be a two in one of these. Let's have a look down here, actually. We've got one, two, three, and five to place in this column. Now, only one of those is even, and a white dot always needs an even cell. So two is on that white dot. Therefore, we can fix one and two in box three. That becomes a two, three pair. We get five there. This is good now. Oops, we get one, four, nine in the final column. This is on a white dot, and this can't be six or 
So it's seven, eight, or nine. This hasn't resolved my three cells that add up to 21 yet. And I'm quite surprised about that. I thought this would all be quite straightforward once we've got this done. The puzzle holds its secrets a little longer. Um, threes, ones. Ah, that one has been looking at this two for a, a short while now. So that gets us all the one twos in the corner boxes done. Yeah, and in fact, the corner boxes are now completely finished apart from this pair. These two are a pair that add up to 14 in this row that don't go in this box. So that's five or six. Um, no, I'm still going to need to figure these ones out. Ah, there's a seven, eight, nine triple. So that's not nine. And this is part of a one, four, six triple. It can only be one or six. Four, three, two. No, three's outside the box. Three there is looking at that cell. Right, that didn't do anything for the central box. Ah, oh, stumbling around still. That can't be a one by Sudoku. It's all about these adding up to 21. There must be a simple way to figure this all out. Four, three, two. Okay. If they have a five in, it's five there and a seven, nine pair. If they don't, this could be a nine, eight, four triple. Five, two, three. This is, no, I was gonna say the only place for six in the row. Not so. Wow, I don't know quite how to finish this. Have I missed a clue? Probably missed a clue somewhere. I think I've used all the white dots. I think I've used all the quads. This cage, I don't see how to resolve yet. Ah, six and five can't be in that cell. So one of them is in that cell. This is eight or nine. Ooh. No, that could still just be a four. Four, seven, eight and nine in these cells. That one can't be a four. Wow, I cannot see see exactly how to do that. So, oh, two is fixed in the central box. It's not going to get anything else done. Um, do I know which one should be a one? I don't think so. Four, three, two. One of these is going to be seven, eight, or nine. The other is going to be one, five, or six. Maybe I can... No, it's got to come down. These aren't 876. They're either 984 or 975. If they're 984... Oh, look, that is the only... Oh, look at these two cells just screaming out to be filled in. Nine there, one there. The nine... Hmm, it looks at that. It says that can't be a nine, but there must be a nine in these three because they can't be six, seven, eight because of that pair of sixes and they have to add up to 21. Uh, did I mention the secret, which is that all rows, columns and boxes add up to 45 because that's the sum of one to nine. Once we take off the 21 in that cage and the three there, that's how, I know, that's how I've known for ages. These three have to add up to 21. But I now... And I've known for a while they have to have a nine in. And since I've placed that, they must have a nine in one of those two cells. And that stops nine being in these and leaves only one candidate at the bottom. Eight, six, five, nine, eight. There's no eight in those. That, in fact, is where nine has to go. This has become a one by Sudoku. That fixes four, nine, one, triple on that side. That fixes a six over there. This can't be eight. Ah, and this is now odd. And these pairs always need one odd and one even number. So this is even. Seven there. That becomes eight. Um, now we must be able to... We need a five in the center. It's a naked single. It sees all the other digits. That's seven or eight. Right, these add up to eight. These two add up to 13. 
With an 8 or 7 there, we need a 5 or 6 here. It can only be a 6. And we've finished that central cage, and I think that really is going to take us home this time. 8 and 4, 8 and 7, 4 and 7, and that's a nice puzzle. Uh, not too difficult today. I think I made that more difficult than it was, but it's pretty entertaining and uh, good fun. Thank you so much to Legor455. Maybe you're related to Legolas. Um, and I am delighted to have done one ring to rule eight of nine. I really hope to see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku fun. See you then. Bye for now.